everyone, Preeti here with A Life of Toys and I'm back with another unboxing video. I am very excited today because I have the Ukrainian brand, uh, Dadaka Craft, um, who has sent me, very generously sent me some of their newest animals that they've created and been working on. And so, what? let's get started. I kind of snuck a peek, but we'll get started. And so, um, a lot of the animals here are part of their kind of newest line of Indian inspired animals. And then some are kind of Asian animals and some North American animals. They have a little bit of a mix, but some really cool ones. I'm gonna start off with the first one. I'm gonna hold it pretty close. So I've already done some of the unwrapping on it and then we're gonna do the rest together. This one is so cute. This is their red panda. So this is my hand waving, and then this is their red panda. A little bit of a turn. And we'll put that back here. Red pandas are found in the Himalayas and into China, and a little bit along their border countries of like Nepal and Tibet. So yeah. Next time I'm gonna open the other one that is Super cute. It's red panda like slouching on a tree branch. <laughs> I thought it was just so funny. He's just taking a slouch. I just love him. Totally love him. Um, what is next? Okay, I'm saving this one for later. <laughs> I'm very excited. This is an Indian bison. Called a gar. It's an Indian bison. So he's big. Like this is my hand and this is him. And this is this is an Ostheimer person against the the bison. So he's big. I mean the bison are really big, so not a surprise that he's big. Um who do I want to open up next? Ooh! One of the most exciting. Can I do it? Okay, no. Um, this, one, this one I was really excited because I saw a peek of it and I couldn't. This is an Indian fox. Oh. Ooh. I really love their shaping. So these are my first Alaka Craft animals. And I would say their shaping is quite amazing. They have a really nice light paint. And their wood, I understood that, yeah, they use maple. Sorry, um, I had a friend going through one of my drawers. The next I've got is a rhino. Ugh. This is the rhino. So they actually do some carving inside here. They're like little detail carvings and then the painting here. And here are the horns, and here's a person, person for scale. So pretty well scaled on this one, compared to the brand, just looking. Um, so I believe this was actually the African rhino, but this one's actually pretty close looking also to the Indian rhino, so I was going to name him my Indian rhino. Just saying. This one is a favorite. This is, oh, let's see, can you guess? Kind of looks like a Guess, can you guess? Da, 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 da. Woof! This is a mongoose. A big old mongoose. Yeah, there's a famous Red Yard Clipping story called Riki Tiki Tawi about a mongoose who kills a cobra. So I thought it's really, it's kind of fun that we have, we have some of these animals now that we can use for when we do story time huh. with our Indian animals. I'm putting him down. You can kind of see them in the back. Mm -hmm. This is an Indian boar. Also exciting. Another Indian animal that we've got. He's an Indian boar. So he's kind of like a relative of the warthog. But not quite. I'm not exactly sure their difference. But again, I love their painting. They have kind of this unfinished feel that's still really soft. So it's not like super shiny and glossy. Do you want to help me out over there? I've got a friend here who's kind of lurking. Come and join me. 
You're the cat? Okay. Oh, this one I'm excited for. This one's really cute. This is a sloth bear, and there's a little surprise in. Look, it's a baby hiding in mommy's fur. You wanna see the baby? Come see the baby. There's a little baby bear in mommy's fur. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. See, it's also a surprise to me what's in some of these wrappings. Oh. All right. Oh, and it's like a, another sloth bear. So it's like a little family together. I think one thing I really like is that they've really got some, they've got some good weight to them, but they're not like incredibly heavy either. This one I was very excited. Um, I think whenever I read about the other craft, like people rave about their trees. So I'm super excited to have one of their trees. And look, and it does not disappoint. This cactus is pretty darn stunning. I mean, the shaping on it. There's lots of shaping that's probably taken a lot of work. And then the paint. Yeah, this tree is quite stunning, this cactus. And I've got one more tree. I think it was called a Dracaria. They've got a couple of really awesome trees. So they've got some Indian trees, and then they've got some, they've got a tree called the Dragon's Blood tree, and then this one's called Dracaria. It's another species of tree. Um, yeah, but they're trees, yeah. Look at that. Um, okay. A couple more. So these ones are kind of North American animals. Ah, he just fell out. Well, oops, and I just knocked them on. This is the Wolverine. So there are a couple different color variations of the Wolverine. No, it's not Hugh Jackman. I'm very sorry. They're really cute. I really love their painting style too. Steaming. Take a look. And then who else do we have? Oh, down to the last couple. Oh, these are my favorites. I saved my very, very favorite. This one, look at this. This is quite something. This is the bunion tree, the Indian bunion tree. It's the, it is, yes, it is the national tree of India. And just look how spectacular it is. Like really, you can't go wrong with this. And I'm just so, so excited for it. So excited. And I'm just so excited that they, um, have actually made some diversity in their animals and toys. They have a whole line of Australia animals and they have this line of Indian and they have North American, they have Asian, and then of course they have the classic like, African animals like elephants and tigers and flamingos. But I just really appreciate that that craft has, is making animals that, that's great for everybody and that kids can associate with from everywhere. I think it's just so, so, so nice of them. This, look at this. I can't even fit it on the screen. This is crazy. This way, this way, I can't even fit it on the screen. This is huge. Look at this. This is like the world's biggest crocodile. It's super awesome and check out this snout. This is not a normal crocodile. This is called a gharial. It's an Indian crocodile found in India um, and related areas. So this is not your typical alligator or your crocodile. Here is a Holzsteger one. And look at, he looks tiny. He looks like a baby. This, I think, is a crowning glory of amazingness. He is just huge and awesome. And he really looks just like the photos. Um, if you're on my blog post, you'll see some photos of a real gorilla, and he's just totally accurate to it. Then I have my very, very last one to share. And this is the Kingfisher, the Indian Kingfisher, kind of known as 
can, they come in lots of cute different colors like reds and pinks and yellows and blues and they're so fun and they're tiny. I think this kind of is the size of a real kingfisher bird, so you like a life-size bird. Yes? What do you think? What do you think, kiddo? Good. Good? That's cute. Maybe he's a little bit big for the bunion tree. Mm, it's a little big for the bunion tree. This still looks pretty cute. So this I'm so excited to share with you. These are their, some of their newest animals that they've got. So you can buy them on Etsy. So you can pick and choose what you want. And there's going to be some US retailers carrying them in their shops. I've got a list of below of who's carrying them. And thank you for joining. I'll be back with a comparison video checking them out to the different brands. So stay tuned for that. And be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me all so much. So uh, like the video, subscribe, comment if you can, and follow me on Instagram at a life of toys. Thanks again. Bye.